Okay, let's go into some of those uh, headline yeah. uh, headline punishments. Then. And I think there are probably two extremes that people fall into. One, as you've outlined in the introduction, is saying that the Sharia is all about these kind of punishments and nothing else, and it is restricted to that. And another extreme on the other end is to avoid that completely and let's not even talk about them and pretend like they don't exist. You're trying to say that you're representing a middle path here that acknowledges their existence but within a framework, a wider framework that also needs to be acknowledged. I, I want to say also not just that I acknowledge their existence, I'm proud of them. Yeah. I became Muslim. One of the major things that helped me to become Muslim is when I heard about the Islamic punishments that existed and I honestly looked at them and felt you know what it is? I really believe this would solve the problems in our society. And I really saw the wisdom in it. And I felt this is how it should be. And it really encouraged me to look into Islam more. You know, when people say these type of things, a lot of times people step back and say, yeah. whoa, you know, like this is really uh, severe or this is really harsh. But I actually thought, you know, I can see the wisdom or I can see part of the wisdom in that. And I was very, very, and until now, I've, I'm thoroughly proud of, of the Islamic legal system, and I don't make any apologies for it at all. I believe that it is what will bring about, uh, it will bring about reconciliation and peace within the society and safety and security for everybody. And within that, there's some advice to the people giving da'wah, whether the du'a to or even just the general layman speaking to a non-Muslim colleague, for example, not to hide anything from Islam because you never know something like that might be the, the thing that actually a non-Muslim yeah. hears. And, like, oh. and also I, I feel that's true. A lot of people do hide things and they, they kind of try to sugarcoat things. And sometimes the person later on finds out yeah. about them and then feels really betrayed. Like I feel like, well, you know, I wanted to go in with my eyes open. And surprisingly people, you would, you know, you would be surprised a lot of people the things you think that people might find difficult because you perhaps found it difficult yourself when you first heard about it to, to understand the context of it, um, then you might be surprised that those things might actually be what, yeah. what brings a person to Islam.